Lights and Shadows, Part 1. So in this uh, tutorial, we'll be looking at shadows, and uh, the kind of shadow we'll focus on is uh, cast shadows. So cast shadow when an object is blocking light from a light source, and we see that in a shadow cast um, on another surface, like this teapot is casting a shadow of itself on the uh, floor. Uh, we see that behind the teapot. And then also the knob on the top of the teapot is casting a shadow on the lid of the teapot. So Now the size and the sharpness of a cast shadow, uh, they, that uh, may depend on the size and the type of the light source. Uh, the distance from the light to the object that's uh, casting the shadow and the distance uh, from that object to the wall or whatever surface the shadow is being uh, cast upon. So let's look at a, a little uh, clip here where we have a light, we have an object and a wall that the shadow is being cast upon and uh, just focusing on the shadow you see how it changes in size and uh, sharpness as we uh, position the object at different distances from the wall. Now we can uh, move the position of the light source and again focusing on the shadow notice how uh, it is changing uh, just from moving the light source and we can change the type of this light source it has an adjustable lens so we can um, turn a knob and change the focusing and you see that that also affects the shadow. Now the simplest kind of cast shadow comes from a directional light so the uh, light rays are all uh, parallel and so the uh, shadow that is cast um, on a surface is very simple in this case, it just has the outline um, of the object and the shadow has uh, all umbra, that is um, the sh object either blocks a light ray or it doesn't uh, block a light ray and so the wall is either uh, in shadow in some parts which is the umbra or uh, not at all in shadow and is uniformly bright uh, everywhere else. Also the shadow is uh, sharp. Now an example of something which is approximately a, a directional light would be a uh, slide projector light. The um, light that comes out is, is fairly focused in a uh, straight line so those rays are mostly parallel so you see the shadow of this apple doesn't change in size as we uh, move its position. A more interesting type of uh, light source would be a point light. So with a point light the light rays come out radially in every direction. Uh, now the uh, shadow is still sharp, it still has a dark umbra, uh, however the size of the shadow is going to change depending on the distance between the light source and the object and the distance between the object and uh, the wall. Uh, here's a photo of a example of something which is approximately a point light source so there's a, a small bright uh, light bulb and you see the cast shadow from that light bulb is uh, all umbra, it's all dark and uh, sharp. Uh, an example of uh, these types of shadows used in uh, cinema, it's very common in, in film noir where they have this kind of uh, dramatic lighting. Now for a more general uh, type of a light source, uh, say from a light bulb, uh, when we trace out the rays coming from the light source uh, to the wall, we see that the rays that come from the top of the light source uh, 
some of them are blocked by the object, some of them reach the wall. The light rays from the center of the light source uh, have a different uh, distribution uh, reaching the wall, and the ones from the bottom of the light source have yet another distribution. So in this case we still have some part of the wall which uh, none of the light rays reach, and that is the umbra, but we have these other parts where the light rays from uh, some area of the light source reach the wall, but not all of the light source reaches the wall. So uh, this part we call the penumbra. And here's an example of a uh, light bulb with a larger uh, size um, than the small tiny light bulb which cast a sharp shadow, this one has a fuzzy shadow uh, because of the penumbra. The, uh, it's particularly noticeable in the thin neck of this uh, object in, it, in that shadow. Uh, the sun also uh, produces shadows that have uh, penumbra, so when we hold a leaf uh, close to the ground uh, the shadow is fairly sharp, uh, but when the leaf is high up in the tree, so it's farther away, then uh, the shadows become uh, blurry, and the higher up in the tree, the uh, blurrier the shadows. Now, to understand what's going on here with uh, the umbra and uh, penumbra, uh, I think it's helpful to think of it this way. Let's say that you're an ant in this uh, grassy field, and if you're uh, an ant looking up at the sun, if you're in a spot where there's no shadow, then you see the entire sun. If you are in a spot which is in the umbra of the shadow of a tree, then the tree completely blocks out the sun. It's not pitch black here because there's some ambient uh, light, but it's the darkest part of the shadow of the tree. Now, if you are in the region which is the penumbra, the fuzzy part of the shadow, then uh, looking up at the sun you see uh, part of it blocked by the tree. So that's why uh, it's not as bright as when there's a no shadow, but it's not as dark as in the umbra where you can't see the sun at all. And uh, notice this effect of uh, penumbra size is done nicely in this uh, screenshot from um, up. So we look at Ellie's arm. Uh, her arm is uh, close to her body, so she has a nice uh, sharp shadow with relatively little penumbra, but the shadows of the leaves on the tree are uh, much uh, fuzzier because they're farther uh, away. Now, if you uh, want to estimate the size of a penumbra, uh, you can make use of the fact that the sun makes an angle of about a half a degree in the sky, and with a little geometry you discover that this means that the uh, width of a penumbra is going to be about 1% of the distance between the object and its shadow. So uh, as an example, if an object is 9 feet from the ground, that's 109 inches, then the penumbra is about 1% of that, which means it's about 1 inch wide. Now, uh, you may have noticed that the uh, in that photo, the cast shadows made a uh, radiating uh, pattern. Uh, now, that pattern is uh, entirely due to perspective. The uh, rays of light coming from the sun are uh, nearly uh, parallel, and so uh, that effect of appearing as if they, the shadows uh, converge in the distance, it's the same as the uh, effect of perspective that uh, rail railroad tracks that are parallel uh, appear to uh, converge in the distance. Uh, they obviously don't converge, it's just a visual effect of perspective. 
Now finally, uh, one of the more important types of uh, light sources um, used in cinematography are uh, spotlights. And uh, this is uh, sort of a an area light that has a focus uh, using a lens uh, and also uh, shielding uh, from an enclosure. Now, in this case, the light source itself has a penumbra because of the use of the lens and of the barn doors uh, enclosure. So with this table lamp, this edge that you see of this um, uh, shadow is actually a penumbra, uh, in this case, mostly due to the uh, enclosure of the light source. Uh, in computer graphics, uh, these types of uh, light sources, these spotlights, uh, typically have a separately adjustable uh, cone angle for the light and a, a penumbra angle. So in the summary, shadows cast only by a directional light uh, source are sharp and uh, entirely uh, an umbra. So those are the very simplest types of shadows. Uh, shadows cast by a point light source uh, are also entirely uh, umbra, so they have no penumbra, uh, but their size changes uh, with the uh, position of the light, the object, and where the shadow is being cast. Uh, the more general types of light sources have both an umbra and a penumbra. The penumbra is where the object casting the shadow only partially uh, blocks the light. Uh, solar shadows um, have a penumbra, um, as we saw in those photos. And then finally, uh, spotlights have a penumbra uh, that comes from the light source itself. So from the use of, of lenses and uh, en enclosures, such as the uh, barn doors, uh, the light itself has a penumbra. And in computer graphics, that's uh, something that is uh, adjustable uh, to get the desired effects. So those are uh, cast shadows. In uh, the next tutorial, we'll talk about another type of shadow, the form shadow. So see you then.